When you write an academic paper for the humanities, one of the most important moves you make relates to your argument. This is what you mean to say. As an academic writer, you have been exposed to many different sources of information, such as research or theory, literature or historical material. These sources contribute to your understanding of a subject. They're what I call voices. One writer's criticism or analysis of a particular topic is just one voice in the broader conversation. And with every academic topic, there are many of these voices. Your job is to say something too, to add your voice to the conversation. The first thing to do is to identify what you want to say. If you've done your reading, you'll already have some different voices floating around that contribute to your understanding of the topic. Maybe you agree with everything you read, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't know what you think. Ask yourself, what do I think about this topic? Or how would I explain this if it was up to me? Here's your chance to make a stand. Then say it. Chances are, much of your understanding will be related to what you have read on the subject. One of the most effective ways to express your perspective is by leaning on the voices that are already in play in the conversation. In other words, you can use those voices to help shape your own. For example, you can begin to carve out the space for your argument or interpretation by identifying something that another writer has already said about your topic, such as, Writer X argues that the American Civil War was caused by the moral and humanistic debate over slavery. In my example, Writer X is just a stand-in for any voice in the academic conversation. Usually it's best to choose a core concept from whatever source you choose so that you have a strong voice to interact with. Next, say what you think about this. You don't have to disagree. In fact, you can agree completely, or you can agree with some parts and disagree with others. The most important thing is that your voice must guide the argument. For now, let's keep it simple. For this example, let's say you have a different interpretation of the relationship between slavery and the American Civil War. You don't entirely disagree with Writer X, but you have a different take on slavery's role in the American Civil War. Begin to show your reader the difference in your argument by making a comment on X's interpretation that helps the reader to understand that you intend to argue something different, like, while the moral and humanistic debate was clearly significant, X's assertion implies that the debate over slavery was not economic or political. Now you have set the stage to present your meaning or your interpretation. This is your argument and it is the statement that you will work to support as your paper unfolds. By showing that you understand writer X's position, you can express your understanding relative to that position. You have also created a reference point with a voice that is already included in the current conversation about your topic, which, in this example, is the discussion about the causes of the American Civil War. Now all that is left for you to do is to say what you think. Perhaps you'd write something like, but in fact, the debate over slavery was more than just a humanistic and moralistic debate. Slavery represented a major economic factor in the young American nation, especially in the southern states. It was also a crucial determinant of political power, as representation in the House of Representatives was directly influenced by the size of the slave population in each state. Now you've laid the foundation for your paper in three simple moves. First, you identified another relevant voice in the discussion about your topic. Second, you directed the reader to interpret it the way that you do. That is, you offered the reader a guide to follow as you move into your own interpretation. And third, you gave your interpretation relative to steps one and two so that the reader clearly understands what you mean. And simply put, that's it. If you follow this model, you'll be on the right track. You're not done, of course, but you're set up for success.